This is a tutorial to show you the installation of custom shapes into Photoshop, Photoshop CS5. But the same approach can be used for CS4 and other versions of Photoshop elements as well. Right, currently I've got the Shapes tool here, Custom Shapes tool, just go there, Custom Shapes tool. Then go to the Shape palette and you will see the selection of shapes that come with Photoshop. Now go to the file, open, and select the shapes file. Now the shapes file here is the custom shapes sampler. You can find that on the graphicextras.com website in the custom shapes section main page. Right, select that, open. Once you've done that, go back to the shapes palette, and you will see the shapes now have been added to the custom shapes palette. Right, there's a variety of shapes, I mean, some of the shapes are newly created ones, some of the shapes are actually from existing shape sets, such as this silhouette, also a dinosaur, insect, frames, different heart designs, as well as eyes and C shape and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to quickly show the use of some of these shapes, I'm just going to select the dinosaur shape, just click on the dinosaur. And just go down now there's a variety of different modes for the custom shape tool you can use shape layer pass or fill pixels I'm just going to use the fill pixels at this stage so just drag just create just creates the shape so of course you can then apply multiple designs if you wish you might create many different dinosaurs say rush across the plains of wherever right so I'm just going to get rid of that you can recolor them very quickly, so you can just quickly do that. I'm just gonna now just gonna select another one. I'm just gonna click select an insect. So you can do that, you can recolor, just change the color there. Just quickly apply different shapes. Of course, they're quite good for things like brushes as well. So as soon as soon as you've done that, you can actually just select a region like that. Just go there, define brush or even a pattern if you wish to use that. Right. Another couple of things you can do with custom shapes. I'm just going to select the shape tool again. You can use them as a shape layer. So I'm just going to quickly select another shape. Just select that one. And then you can apply layer styles. Drop shadow. Drop shadow there. Also an inner shadow. Bevel. And all those sort of things. Just select that. Right, so I'm just going to quickly delete that. Also, you can use it as path, and then you can use various uh, brush strokes to that. Or also, you can modify the shape. So you've got the shape here. You can just go and select the individual points. So if you decide to so just select direct selection tool, then you can just modify the individual points. So I just say select that one. So, so you can just do that quickly modify create different uh, shape designs just from the core set of shapes right flatten that again get rid of that go back on the history palette now select the shape tool back to fill pixels and of course you can combine the shape so you've just got that that's another thing you just say click there apply another one so you can create just very simple designs very quickly of course you can modify the shape so if you go to shape layer so you do that so you've got the shape design there, you can then transform the shapes. So transform path, scale, rotate, warp the shapes. So you can warp the designs, apply obviously different arcs or whatever. So there's no reason to stick with the same shapes. You can just use them as a, a resource to create thousands of different, different shapes. Now, there are many other shapes on graphicextras.com. There's, uh, just apply that, things like grids, Christmas shapes, embellishments, insects, dinosaurs, a whole range of different things. They're all found on the graphicextras.com website in the custom shape section. There's also brushes and other things there, as I say, for PC or Mac.